customize navigation learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to explain the two main options you have for customizing your user's navigation experience, the mobile only app and lightning apps. Explain how to get them to the menu and the mobile app launcher. Point users in the right direction. If you've ever been at an airport, you've likely seen large time points that help you to get to your uh, get your bearings and find your way to certain locations like a baggage claim or a specific gate number. Well, we need visual cues to find our way in apps too and that's what the mobile navigation menu is, a signpost. Your users rely on it to get from place to place and the Salesforce mobile app as efficiently as possible. With the new mobile app, the navigation items that your users see depend on which part of the Salesforce mobile app they're in, a lightning app or the special mobile only app. And depending on which part they're in, you can customize their navigation items in different ways. So let's take a look and talk about how you can customize navigation items to meet your users' needs. Because after all, a signboard is only efficient if it points people to places they actually want to go. The mobile navigation bar and menu. Before we jump into the customization options, let's get familiar with the new navigation bar and the updated navigation menu. Some friendly navigation bar lives at the bottom of your screen. It puts important navigation items in easy reach while users get work done. We'll talk more about the navigation bar soon. Go to the navigation menu by tapping menu. This is where users can access all the objects, apps and items available to them. So this is the one here. There are two navigation experiences, one for users who have logged in to the new mobile app for the first time and one for users who have switched to Lightning app using the mobile app launcher. The first time users log into the new Salesforce mobile app, they see the navigation menu for the mobile only app. We call it an app, but it's basically just a set of navigation items from the navigation menu of the previous app. Move to the navigation menu of the new app. The familiar, the familiar navigation items help users make a seamless transition to the new mobile app. You can customize the mobile only navigation items and setup the same way you customize their previous navigation menu. But we encourage you to keep things as they are while users make the transition to the new mobile app. So here we got it. Setup. And what do you see in the end? If you do customize the mobile only navigation menu, make sure the four most important items are at the top. The four items also conveniently appear in the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen, unless your users switch to a lightning app. Users can keep using these navigation items in the mobile only app, but they also have more options thanks to the new mobile app launcher. Yes, the app launcher is now on mobile as well as desktop. If you have enabled any lightning apps for mobile, users can switch to those apps using the mobile app launcher. If you, have if you change the order of the lightning apps in the app launcher on desktop or if your users can personalize the order themselves, those changes sync to the mobile app launcher with a quick refresh. When users switch to a Lightning app, the navigation tabs on the desktop version of the app sync to the mobile navigation menu. So if a user has permissions to change the tabs on the desktop version of a Lightning app, the users see those changes in the mobile navigation menu. And just like in the mobile only app, the first four items in the navigation menu also appear in the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. So we have it here. To switch back to mobile only, use the mobile app launcher. Uh, what you can change for mobile navigation, here's what you can change. 
the items in the mobile only navigation menu as we mentioned above we can recommend leaving these alone while users transition to the new app but later on or if continuity isn't important for example if all your users are completely new to the salesforce mobile app you can fine tune the navigation menu the first four items in the navigation menu are also the four first four items in the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen the items in the navigation menu of a lightning app these items mirror the apps that are in the desktop version of the lightning app you and your users if they have the right permissions can change the order of the desktop tabs and see the changes in the mobile navigation menu the first four items in the navigation menu also the first four items in the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen notes about mobile navigation as you customize the mobile navigation menu there are some important things to keep in mind you can set the different menu configuration for different types of users but users in lightning apps with the right permissions can change their navigation tabs on desktop and those changes are reflected in the lightning apps mobile navigation menu and navigation bar before you set up navigation items for a mobile only app, make sure you read about the smart search items. The short explanation is that smart search items add a dynamic list of recently accessed objects to the navigation menu. Anything you put below smart search items appears after that list of recent items. If smart search items is one of the first four items in the navigation menu, some recent items also appear in the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. If you want to include Visual Force pages, Lightning pages or Lightning components in the mobile navigation menu, you have to create tabs for them. Before adding a page to the Salesforce mobile app, make sure the page is enabled for mobile. Probably test your Visual Force pages in the Salesforce mobile app because they don't always work in the same way as they do in the desktop. See the resources section for more information. Customize the mobile only navigation menu. Okay, enough preamble, roll up your sleeves and get ready to help the Dreamhouse brokers zip around in the mobile app like seasoned pros. D'Angelo wants to customize the mobile only navigation menu so that the most important items are at the top. From setup, enter navigation in the quick find box and then select Salesforce navigation. There we have it. Rearrange the items so that the top five are in the following order. Events, chatter, tasks, dashboard and smart search items. Events, chatter, toss, and some search items. The order determines how the items display in the navigation menu. So let's save this. Note the first four items in the list become the first four icons in the navigation bar for your users. Choose them wisely and remember anything you put below the smart third items element appears below the list of recently accessed objects in the navigation menu. Now let's remove a few items the brokers don't need to see approvals and post flow interviews. Let's go back there. Mm 
There we go, and we save it. Test your changes in the Salesforce mobile app. You know the drill. Let's see how the improved mobile only navigation menu looks in the mobile app. Open the Salesforce, uh, open Salesforce on your mobile device and tap menu to open the navigation menu. If you're not on the mobile app, use the app launcher and switch to it. So the order is events chatter task dashboard. Let's see if anything changes here. Nope. But well, that's probably a mobile only. Anyway, let's continue. All of our little adjustments are reflected in the menu. And with that final piece of customization, we have completed our mobile mission. D'Angelo can confidently roll out the Salesforce app to the Dreamhouse brokers and soon they will be enjoying all the productivity gains that mobility has to offer. Next steps. Well, that's good news for D'Angelo, but what about your org? How do you translate your newfound knowledge into action? Now that you're comfortable with the mobile customization tools, here is what to do next. Check the Salesforce mobile app rollout module. Start developing your mobile use cases and planning your mobile launch. Read about Salesforce mobile app security and compliance so you can make sure your company's data is safe when accessed from mobile devices. Roll out the Salesforce mobile app to your users. Get your mobile strategy development badge to find out how Salesforce fits into your company's overall mobile strategy. If um, you're actually watching this and you want to do a rollout within your company, um, then you should probably go through these steps. But for myself, that's enough. And um, now go forth, implement your awesome use cases in the Salesforce mobile app. Happy customizing. Let's go on to the quiz. What are smart search items? A list of commonly used reports, a layout that determines the format of search results in the mobile app, a set of users recently accessed objects, the widget on the user's homepage that would be C, a set of users recently accessed objects, and just to make sure, smart search. Yeah, recently accessed objects. Okay. When you customize mobile navigation items in setup, your users will see your changes in the action bar in the navigation menu and the first four items of the navigation bar in the mobile only app in the na navigation menus of the lightning apps and favorites. That would be B. Navigation items for a lightning app are available on mobile in a special mobile configuration in navigation menu and in favorites in the profile menu when in the app in the navigation menu when the first four items of the navigation bar when users are in the app in the app launcher. So I will go for C in the navigation menu and the first four items of the navigation bar when users are in the app. And let's check the quiz. Ooh, you've got a shiny new badge in your profile, so I'm finished 
with the module as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. And as always, I'm happy about feedback, positive and negative. Thank you so much. Have a good day.